public sidewalk so i can actually be here. here so if, if you could go like across the street or somewhere else on a public sidewalk our kids are right here okay well that's why i'm here i'm here to educate the kids i, I wish you wouldn't do this why not is there something wrong with educating <laughs> kids about the first stages of human development i mean, I mean our kids are right here come on What's Please. wrong with that? What's wrong with that, sir? Explain to me why it's wrong to educate educate kids because about all, all kids the, the abortion right genocide. I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not saying I disagree with you, but I hate when we make schools into political grounds. This isn't a political thing, though. Yeah. This is this is like a life and death death issue yeah. that's affecting this community. And we yeah. we appreciate we appreciate your opinion and your your thoughts on the matter, but this is like disruptive to our educational environment. I don't see. I don't think it is. Well, it is. You're, In what way? You're, yeah. Well, you're not somebody our kids know. You're an adult. You're standing here with something. I, I was just at a safety thing last night for the district where, you know, it's like the stranger danger stuff. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything <laughs> wrong with you, but... It's a public area, man. I, I, the, <laughs> I have the right the, to be here. The, this part is where our kids gather, so yeah. I'm, I'm not going to let you be here. And I have the right to publicly educate the yeah. public, <laughs> and including children. Okay, okay. so we're so. asking you... Just like across the street. When I, what, what about even right down here? That I'm going to have all sorts of kids that are right here. That's good. I can talk to them no, about. You're, I can. You're, you're, you're not going to be talking. Talk to are you kids, teaching sir. them about the gospel of Jesus Christ? Because I will be. Okay. They need to hear that. They need to hear we're how to be saved from hell. We're a public school, and you're not going <laughs> to talk to our kids. While we're I will. Here. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay. I have a right to free speech and a public easement, man. Okay. You can't shut that down. It's a it's, like. This okay. is the basics of, of like rights in America, you know, what we can do with our free speech. I'm, I'm well aware of our rights and yeah. I'm responsible for setting up kids. I'm not doing anything to harm any kids, man. Oh, yeah, this, is <laughs> this isn't going to do anything bad to any kids. This is only going to help kids. These, these kids are going to be having sex in a few years and they're going to be creating new children. And who is anybody teaching I'm, them about I'm this? <laughs> There's, there's teenagers having sex, creating children, and then murdering them at Planned Parenthood. <laughs> so what's going on? I'm on with them. Because nobody taught them about this. Yeah. So this is a life and death thing. This is this is has real Im a real impact on on real people. Yeah. Yeah. I'm embarrassed for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Sixth grade kids, you're going to be out here doing this. Why? Sixth graders can't understand about the abortion genocide and do something yeah, about it? Okay. These kids could be a voice for these yeah, the children in the womb. Whatever. It's embarrassing. Uh, Just can't ever be any common sense. It's the, you're you're going to put sixth grade kids in the middle of this. Yeah. Good job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach them, man. I'm yeah. going to teach them what they're probably not being taught. Yeah. You know, okay? Little babies need your help. They're being murdered down the street, folks. Yeah. Are you really gonna do this? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna teach kids about the genocide they're living in. Yeah. Are you teaching them about it? <laughs> like this is this is history played out before our very eyes. We're living in a devastating Holocaust, yeah. okay. and it, are the kids even being educated about it? Well, if, are your yeah. educators right? You should be educating yeah, that, them that, about that, it. If you're not, there's a problem. Home. Are you guys Christians? Do you claim to be Christians? Why is that any of your business? Well, I mean, I am a. If I follow Jesus Christ, I'm supposed to call people to repent and make disciples of all nations. I should um, let you know about Jesus Christ and how to be reconciled to God. Okay. You know. So, uh, by the way, are you recording? I am. Okay, you don't have my permission to record my me. Well, I'm in a public area, so I do have the there right to do that. I could actually, in the state of Illinois. I could actually do it anywhere. Is it audio recording? It is. Yeah, in the, in the state of Illinois, 
you have to have the other person's permission to audio record? No, as long as it, the camera is in plain sight. Have intimate knowledge of this law. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, I believe you're incorrect. Okay, so well, we'll find out. And we have, you know, kids on the do not photo list and uh, for a variety of reasons. Yeah, you can you can take pictures of whoever you want in a public area. Really? Yeah. And, and record them? <laughs> yep. Uh, audio yeah. record? Yep. Yeah, I don't think so. Not in the state of Illinois. Some states. Babies in the womb are being murdered right down the street because people don't follow Jesus Christ. They don't love God. They hate their children. It's, a, it's a genocide that you're living in. Do you know where you are? Yeah, I'm in a place that's supposed to educate young, you, no, <laughs> young people. I mean is, like, are you from Wheaton? Um, I've lived in Wheaton for the past three, well, no, seven years, or on and off, at least some of that time. I went to Wheaton College. I live in Wheaton now, so. I mean, there are plenty of other places that would, you know, if you really want to try to spread your message. Have you thought like about like a clinic or? Yeah, I go to the I go to the killing facilities. I go to high schools. I go to colleges. I go all over the place. I just I go to busy intersections. You know, everybody needs to learn about this. Everybody needs to hear about it. Everybody can take action against it. Most people. This is the first time I've ever been to a middle school. Oh, yeah. Why do you pick this one? Good access. Yeah. Good way to stir up the community. Get people. So you're here agitated. To stir, yeah, you're here because to stir people up the are community and get they're, agitated. They're peacefully coexisting with mass murder. Most people in this in this area are just going about their business like it's no big deal when children are being slaughtered on a regular basis right down the street in a killing facility on Roosevelt Road, Anchor Healthcare. Yeah, I've seen people out there. Yep. I go out there and I preach to the people, plead for those babies' lives, tell them how to be reconciled to God. There should be thousands of people out there trying to stop it, but in, instead it's just a handful. And that's why i got to be at places like this train people up when they're young, teach them about human rights when they're young so they can start living righteously for God. You're not a big fan of the whole separation of church and state. Are you saying I'm not yeah. a fan? Yeah, that's right. Well, I, I think uh, separation of church and state is impossible because the state is always going to have a belief system by which they operate, and that's their religion. So, like, our current state operates according to the religion of secular humanism, man worship, where mankind becomes the highest authority for determining what's true and, and what's um, moral. Morning. Little babies are being murdered. Great place for this, huh? Kids need to be educated. They can be a voice for the voiceless. So do you teach the kids here about the genocide that, that they're living in? I'm not willing to have a 
conversation with you about that. I'm more concerned about the impact and the disruption to my educational environment. And the fact that I'll once again reiterate your audio recording me without my permission. No. Well, you don't have to stand in front of my camera. That's your choice. Well, you don't have to be Actually, it's not. No. See, it, as the principal of the school and as the assistant principal of the school, uh, our boss would want us right here. Well, I mean, did he tell you to stand here? <laughs> I think it's your choice. This doesn't need to be disruptive. You could say, hey, this is awesome. There's a guy educating kids about the genocide that's going on. He can only enhance the educational experience here. But instead, I have to be a disruption. kids like right here that gather each day that now I'm having so Okay. Okay.